What's going on guys, it's James the Auctionmodeler back with you again. If you watched the last video, I think it would have been the last video, you'll know why I've got such a big smile on my face. If you've also clicked on this link because of the title, we finally have the DeLorean. So yes guys, this part work first came out in 2017. I missed the boat on it then um, because me and Angie just moved house to Whitby. Um, so money was very tight. We moved on New Year's Eve. This magazine came out beginning of January. So I wanted to build it, but I didn't have the money to do it. I just simply could not do it. And it was annoying to me that I'd missed it. Um, there's been a couple of models that I was a bit annoyed that I'd missed, but this was really the one that got me because I've always been a Back to the Future fan. Um, I remember when I was a little kid, my mum and dad had um, a VCR, um, VHS player, and um, we used to go to my aunties and they had the Back to the Future as a, the three set on video. And it always be like, can, we, can, we ask, can you ask auntie, auntie she, we can borrow Back to the Future? And my dad was always like, no, not borrowing it. And then when I got old enough, when I was working, one of the first things I bought was the DVD box set. Um, and I love it. I love the film. I think it's great. Um, even, you know, 30 odd years in the future, it still stands up. Um, so when I missed it, I was a bit annoyed. I was very annoyed that I'd missed it. Um, now, <clears throat> this magazine and the one I've got for issue two are the Eagle Moss editions. Now, this was originally bought out by Eagle Moss in 2017. Obviously, Eagle Moss have now folded, unfortunately. Um, I did have issues with Eagle Moss and I said I'd never do any, another build by them uh, when we did the Aston Martin. I think I might have deleted the playlist for that one because I only got like a couple of videos in and that was it. Um, and I've not even got any footage of it because it was before I got my new computer and yeah. So I'm not doing this through Eagle Moss, I am doing it through Fan Home. I've got issues one and two that I've bought on eBay. Issue three is going to be the first one of my subscription. Uh, first pack is going to be issues three, four, and, uh, three, four, five and six. Once I've got those, um, then it goes to five um, five issues every pack, which is every about every five weeks. Issue one will be its own video. Issue two will be its own video. Issue three and four will be a video. Issue five and six will be a video. And then from that point, I'm going to start trying to do two or three issues per um, kind of build video, if you like. Um, as long as everything goes the way I want it to. Now, I have already started to... Oh, crikey, sorry if you heard that. Um, we've got all the parts that we get in the build uh, just here. I'm going to keep these in the tray while I'm actually building them. It just makes life a little bit easier um, for while I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, so let's get started with a quick look through the magazine. Um, issue one, car parts is basically the rear bumper um, and one of the rear lights. Um, you do get the license plate holder and a few other things and the out of time license plate as well. Um, then you've got drive time, which is the actual build of everything, which we're going to go through in a minute anyway. That's what everything will look like when we are pretty much done. Uh, the Futurist writing the script for Back to the Future. I do like these bits of artwork as well. I think it just, the DeLorean as a car looked very, very futuristic, in my opinion. Um, and picking it for the time machine was a very good choice. The, the steel, uh, I think it's the only car really that's ever been released with just steel, like brushed steel as its final finish. Um, and some of these bits of artwork are, are just lovely. Um, and then last bit of the article, uh, last article is Michael J. Fox, who obviously wasn't the original um, Marty McFly in the film. That was Eric Stoltz to begin with, um, which I think there is a little bit of information coming up in future issues about him. Um, and then we start the front wing and we get another couple of bits for the um, rear bumper with issue two. And then again, something I do like about this build is this. On the back page, they show you all the parts that you've got with that particular set of instructions. So, let's get started on issue one. Right, so step one, we're starting with the rear of the vehicle. One other thing I do wanna mention is this. It's quite a nice screwdriver, this. Now, I have obviously got the one that I've got from college with the stepper, but by the look of it, the head on this one is starting to go a little bit kind of rounded. So I will be using this one at some point a bit later on in the build, but I'm just going to leave it to the side for now. So part one of the instructions is to start the rear of the car. So take the two sections of the DeLorean's rear and uh, push them together. Carefully align the four holes along each. So there's four holes. This is the plastic bit, a bit of the bumper. It's got this little silver strip running down the middle. 
and it's got to line up this way. And what you're trying to do is where you've got these four little holes, you've got one, two, three, four, need to line up with four of the holes just here. So if I line those up like that, so press them together like that. And then um, we will take four BP screws. Now you get AP and BP screws with this one, with this issue. So I'm just going to get four of these screws out. And we're going to screw this together. There we go. So that's that all screwed in there. Um, so that will just pop to one side for now because now we're starting on, oh, we'll keep it close though because we are going to need it in a second. Um, next are the lights. So I'm just going to get all the bits out for the lights um, because I think these just kind of press it, like not push together, but um, like they're just resting in the actual um, kind of, I don't know, frame, I suppose you can call it, this little bit just here. Take the four light parts H, I, J and K and clip them into the corresponding spaces. So I'll just clip all of these in. Oh, they do clip in actually. So I'll hold it like that so you can see kind of what it looks like when it's all in. And then this is going to clip in to the wing. So it's going to go just in this side here and there's like a little rectangular hole that you can fold that bit there into. Like that. And hope that everything doesn't come out like it just has done. So let's pop these back into place. There we go, that's in. Uh, so that's step two, push the assembled frame uh, one GH into the passenger side socket on the rear section, so that's just in there. Take care when pushing the lip of the plastic frame first um, before pressing the rest of it into place. So obviously that little lip's come out just on the inside, just in there. And then you've got a little screw hole that we can attach this into properly as well. Um, step three, take one BP screw and thread it into the back of the rear section. Use the screwdriver to tighten the screw, securing the panel of the lights into the assembly. So one BP, did that say? Uh, take one BP screw and you're just going to screw this into this little hole just here. That's the one that it's going into just there. And those lights are now secured in and one of them actually has DMC on it as well. You're not going to be able to see it, but this kind of centre red one just here, right in the bottom corner, has a really, really tiny DMC. I like that detail. That's nice detail. Um, right, so the Time Machine's really displays those identical to the original DMC-12 DeLorean. They're divided into four distinct functions. So the reversing light is your white one. Then the brake lights go in that horseshoe configuration there. The rear light are the two ones in the middle. And then you've got your indicator light right on the side. Obviously, this car wasn't designed for BMW drivers. It's got an indicator. And then you've got a thing that just says this is what the assembled piece should look like uh, with the right-hand set of lights screwed securely in place, which is exactly what mine looks like, which is good. Now, I'm just going to move that up to the top there. Next, we're doing the outer time license plate. So if we grab the license plate, so just to show you there, oh, it might, oh, it's not looking good, that is it. That's better. I've got this camera sorted now as well. Um, so there's your out of time license plate. Now we do get two really small stickers. One is CA86 and then one's just like a red, um, got like a red band on it. I think, I don't know for definite, but I think these are like the identification stickers um, to show that like in England, when we had used to have tax discs on cars, it used to, used to put it in your windscreen. Now you tax everything online, so you don't need a tax disc. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a quick look at the instructions just to see which one goes on which side, if it actually tells you. Ah, 1F are the stickers, 1E. 
So I'm guessing they could really go either side by the look of this. Um, so you do have in there though, where you've got the California written in the middle, you've got three little kind of orange lines on either side that follow the track of that. Your stickers have to go in the middle of those. So I'm gonna get one of these stickers. Now you do get two stickers with the, with this. So that's nice that they've given you a spare one just in case. I'm just going to put the sticker down. I'll just there. In fact, what I'll do, I've got another scalpel here that's a little bit rusty, but I'll use this just to put this down into position. No, I'm not. That's not going to work. Right. There we go, that's one on. And then we'll do the same with the CA 86. Just on the other side. Just there, push that over a little bit. There we go. So that's your license plate all done just there. Um, that is step one of the plate. Uh, step two is we need to take this uh, uh, plate holder. So clip the number plate into the uh, plate base, which is this one. Sorry bit dark on there but there we are make sure when you're clipping it in that those two little holes there are at the top as well so you clip that in like that and again it is a very loose connection this so we're probably going to be screwing it in with a couple of ap screws i didn't know that we'll grab a couple of these right that's that one screwed in what i'm trying to do with this as well is a problem I had with the Panini, with the um, F40 by Panini was when I was screwing bits of plastic together, the plastic, I thought it was quite soft. So as I was screwing it, the plastic was cracking. It was me screwing to doing the screws too tight and it was cracking the plastic. So I'm not doing it with this. You probably noticed if you've been watching the Titanic, anything that I've been screwing on that, I've not been over tightening them because I don't want to crack the plastic. That's just a boneheaded decision on my part. But you've got out of time license plate all screwed in there. Now we need to take the engine plate holder and clip it in at the top of the base plate. So the holder is this clear bit of plastic just here, looks a bit like that. And this will just clip in like this. So it'll go in there and you've got your out of time there. So it's kind of like the lights that are gonna illuminate the, um, the out of time bit. And then another couple of AP screws just to screw this in is two. So you've got your holder screwed in there. Now we need to bring back the back that we did earlier. Take the little uh, bumper itself that's got DeLorean on it there. And uh, step one for the bumper is make sure that the DeLorean logo is the right way up, which I've got it that way and attach it to the rear section of liner holes and carefully push it in together so you've got one two three four one two three four little rectangular pegs and they go against the eight rectangular pegs just there as well so I'll just push this in and that's in that's attached and that is issue one of the Back to the Future DeLorean, all done. So uh, the journey begins now that you've assembled the first parts of your Back to the Future DeLorean model, put it somewhere safe until issue two arrives, which I have just down here, so I'm gonna be doing that video now. But that is it for issue one. Issue two. Uh, we get the first wing and we get a couple more bits to do another one of those rear lights as well. So guys, Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness and I'll see you in the next build for issue 2 of the Back to the Future DeLorean which will be up very soon. So until then, happy modelling and stay safe.
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. You can click on the link on the left for this model's playlist. You can click on the link on the right for the YouTube recommends, or you can click on the link in the center to subscribe to the Yorkshire Modeler. I'll see you next time, guys.